الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على اشرف المرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد المصطفى بمددك ومن نظرك صلى الله عليه وسلم الكريم الحبيب العظيم ان شاء الله عز وجل جلس اس فم از هولي مانت اوف الزوجة and the holy month of Hajj and all its blessings that Allah Zawajal perfect our faith and complete His favours upon our soul and upon our, our reality. Fumatiullah ati Rasulullah amri minkum and always a reminder for myself and Abda and Abdukul Ajeez Daeef from Miskeen Zalim of Jahan and but for the grace of Allah Zawajal's rahmah that we're still in existence. The your mics are on. Then pick up that sound. InshaAllah always a reminder in this month of completion that 12 months of migrating towards Divine the Presence and that Allah opened the month of pilgrimage and the father of faith and example that we follow throughout the whole Hajj rituals. Sayyidina Ibrahim salam. And we ask that Allah dress us from that reality and bless us from that reality, inshaAllah. That the immensities of, of these lights and this ni'mat and what we talked about the other night is that the hajj on the outside the physical hajj that we perform in our lifetime inshaAllah Allah give an opportunity for everybody. And the most important is a lifelong hijrah, a lifelong pilgrimage to the Divine the Presence that lies within the heart of every human being. And that is the most sacred pilgrimage. That pilgrimage is an eternal dress and eternal elevation for the soul. And those whom Allah blessed teaches them the external and those whom Allah has truly blessed and truly guided, there is no guidance except by Allah is the one whom Allah guides towards their internal hajj. And that to understand that the Qalbil Mu'min Baytullah that to raise themselves to a state of belief, the states of iman and faith in which they love Prophet more than they love themselves and that their house become the house of Allah And that's why they teach all of these realities and these blessings so that this heart of ours to be cleaned, to be washed. Allah describes the Kaaba throughout Holy Qur'an and the house of Allah to wash, to purify, to circumambulate. And we talked, it was probably last year, the reality of circumambulation. When we talked about the, what that which you make tawaf around is that what you really are focusing on in life. The haqqaiq of a tawaf and circumambulation is that when you're circumambulating you're focusing. So just like when the believer makes a hajj, a physical hajj or umrah and they begin to make their tawaf and they say that everything stopped for them. Every thought, every concern, everything of the physical world stops for them and they feel alone with their Lord because as they're making tawaf their whole focus becomes their relationship with Allah And their running is not for dunya, their running is around the house of Allah and what that symbolizes. So then our life is that tawaf and that's why the turuqs have many different ways to teach that, Naqshbandiya is with the knowledges and tafakkur. And 
Sayyidina Jalaluddin Rumi was about the sama which was also the tawaf but in a moving tawaf around your heart. The Sayyidina Ahmad al-Rifai Qaddasallahu siru was about the hadra, was a standing tawaf in which the focus was the heart. All of the turuqs are teaching the same reality and Allah gave them different flavors. So all of them are focusing that this heart of ours is the house of Allah is the love of Allah And since Allah is not on heaven nor on earth but the heart of the believer, then Allah's presence is by the light and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad So that the heart becomes filled with this ishq and this love. As a result these awliyaullah came by their guidance from Prophet to teach this tawaf that they're doing once in a lifetime that we do it all the time. So the mevlevis they make a tawaf around themselves and that was the spinning, the whirling, the sama. They spin around the axis of their heart because all of the turuqs are based on Allah in the heart, Kaaba's in the heart, the realities in the heart. Instead of running around the black house, the ancient house of Allah take your physicality and make your sama. And so with your left leg fixed and your right leg moving, you're like running around your heart. And then all the teaching was based on that, make your body to run after your heart. This satanic world is running the other way, it's pivoting on the other foot, right? Satanic world is telling your heart, run after your dunya and that's why they changed the direction of their clock because they ran after the body. So they, they move to the right, they follow their heart to run around their body and they force their heart to follow the body desires. And the turuqs come and teach, no, no your body has to run after your heart and that's why you have to clean the heart and you have to find the guides of the heart because you may be spinning the wrong way. Most 99.9% .9 of people even they call themselves Muslim, they call themselves Jewish, they call themselves Christian, they call themselves whatever they want, 99.99% are spinning the wrong way. Even they think they accepted Islam or they accepted deen and they accepted religion. Shaitan still has them fooled and they're running after their dunya and they force their heart to come along. Some do a little bit good, they do some praying, they do some zakah, they do… but they're struggling. The turuqs when Allah really wants somebody to be guided, that's why Allah what we say in Jumali, hadan Allah, nahtadi dawan hadan Allah, there's no guidance except if Allah guides you. So many people say, oh I came to Islam, yeah this is just a hello version, this, you just said hello. Guidance is when Allah really truly wants to guide you towards His realities and sends you a guide. From Atiullah, Atiya Rasul, Awlul Amri Minkum, Allah brings all of Qur'an to life for that servant. And as a result of following these guides they immediately switch the servant, say your left foot remain in place, means that plant your heart firmly as if you got a nail and hammered your left foot into the ground, that left foot doesn't move. And every choice you make in life is going to be based on that left foot not moving. So you're going to make a move, is this good for your heart? If it's not, it's not going to make the move. You're going to do this work, is it good for your heart? 
So everything they're teaching is that sama, is that reality, is that hadara, is that tafakkur because Naqshbandiya comes and teaches the same, it's like the sama. But instead of us moving all day long you're walk off, you're vigilant over your heart, you're vigilant over your heart and meditate, contemplate that my heart has to be at peace is what I'm doing bringing peace to my heart and a serenity to my heart or am I forcing my heart to do things it doesn't want to do and I'm dragging it along on a journey means I'm now spinning in a different orbit. And that's why it's difficult for people to come to a shaykh, it's difficult for people to listen to a shaykh, it's difficult for people to even try to respect a shaykh. Because shaitan is continuously trying to flip them like a, like a, like a, a little spin in the other direction. And the turuqs are coming and teaching this 12 months we've been making a hajj and a hijrah and they've been teaching us your left foot solid istiqam into the ground because it runs the line of your heart and everything about you is to be your heart. Focus on your heart, meditate on your heart, make your connection with your heart and every choice you move is around your heart. You give because it's good for your heart, you serve because it's good for your heart, you attend because it's good for the heart. You love because it's good for the heart. So everything is about that circumambulation. So we're not going for hajj only once. That's why we said when Muharram started Shaykh made intention for everyone that, Ya Rabbi we are intending labaik, Allahumma labaik, that we heard your call and that we're coming. This 12 months of journeying and all its kajalis and all its difficulties and all its tests and trials was a continuous sama, a continuous tawaf, a continuous muraqaba on our heart. The Ya Rabbi we're vigilant over the heart, we're washing of the heart. We understood that when you want your heart to be protected recite Surat Al-Feel. Because Ashab and feel that Allah will send Arbabil, will send the angels to defend his heart that is filled with his love and the heart that's filled with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad So I defended that heart and I'm always the defender of my hearts. That's why Allah says, I'm the wali and I'm the wali of my lovers, of my awliya. I'm the one whom defends them. So when the heart is made with that love, filled with that love, Allah is the defender of that heart. Means then everything when we enter into Zul Hajj then it's asking for that meditation, that contemplation that, Ya Rabbi labaik, you call them and we're coming Ya Rabbi. We're coming all crippled and sick and bad character, bad actions. And we're asking that you dress us and bless us, that you complete your favours upon us and that all our 12 months has been the focus of this heart. The levels of the heart is about the house of Allah What's inside this house when we say that the Qalbul Mu'min Baytullah, inside this heart has to be the love of all the angels, love of all the prophets. Love of, of all the Ahlul Bayt, love of all Ashab and Nabi love of all of all that Allah loves has to be filled into that heart. And then the good character has to be emanating from the heart to the best of everyone's ability. Nobody is supposed to think themselves to be saintly. It wasn't about thinking that you're a saint. But was taking a path of saints. We take the path of awliyaullah whom their darajat and stations very high. We take that as our example, Ya Rabbi, that we're moving on a saintly path filled with imperfections and bad character. And we pray that you forgive us and that you dress us and that you forgive the sins in the past. <coughs> 
and sins that will be coming into the future. That you fix this Sirat al-Mustaqeem which is the path of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad for us. So means that all the turuqs were teaching that. Sayyidina Ahmad al-Rafai was teaching the standing of the Kaaba, the teaching the students that that heart that you're focusing in Hadrat al-Nabi all the same reality was teaching his students that that Kaaba its presence is Sayyidina Muhammad And if we all stand around in a circle around that presence, that's the… Hadra means presence, that's the presence of the Divine their presence, that's the presence of oceans of power. And then taught the students that when they go back to their sessions, when they would stand up and begin their hadara means their presence, they were asking for the presence of Prophet So all their salawats and their standing positions in the qadaris and rifais and all of the, their teachings of the standing hadara was the same as the sama, was same as the muraqabah. That if you want Allah's attention, you want Allah's presence, whom do you have to call to receive Allah's presence? Sayyidina Muhammad That by calling the love of Sayyidina Muhammad upon Allah's Divinely Presence. If that holy soul comes to be present then know with all your heart and soul Allah Zubajjal is present. Wherever Sayyidina Muhammad goes Allah Zubajjal is present. So that the Hadrat al-Nabi and their ihtiram and their standing was for the presence and the holy presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And they're bowing in respect and rising, they're bowing in respect and rising. The presence of the king of all kings, the king in which carries the creator of all created universes within his heart as a treasure and a trust. One that he carries the perfection of the light of Allah and Allah allows himself to be carried by Nur Muhammad because of its purity and because of its sanctity. As a result all of this was about the circumference. So what somebody may do once in their lifetime when Allah guides a servant Every day and at least three times a week they're making their hajj, they're making their circumambulation, they're teaching that they're focus on the Kaaba, they're focus on the heart, they're focus on the, on the one who can bring victory into their heart and bring the presence of Allah is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and that there's no way for us to want to even go for a hijrah without the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Means all of the adab that they've taught is that they've said from the beginning of the year that, Ya Rabbi bring us into the light, into the love, into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that He be our guide into your Divine the Presence. That He be the one that is a khuda, is a guidance for us, is a light for us, is a alim and a teacher for us. And that He illuminate our way and elevate our status, dress us, purify us and clean us. When you then enter Zulhaj 
then what could be more beautiful than entering with the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And the teachings of Prophet that you be with whom you love, that this path is only based on love. It's not based on do this, do that, do this, do that. But everything is based on muhabbat and love. You can give and do things without love, but you cannot love something without doing and giving. It means that they taught us from day one of Muharram, this is all about love and muhabbat. When this love and this muhabbat grows and grows and grows within the heart and locked within the heart of the believer, everything you do at this point is based on love. You pray with love because you have a love in your heart you pray. And the intention of that salah was based on muhabbat and Allah won't judge it. When you have this love in the heart and you give, Allah doesn't judge the giving because it was done from love. It wasn't done through the aqal, it wasn't done with an intention for reward. That's why they said the niyat and the intention at the beginning of this journey was muhabbat and ish. Ya Rabbi I love you. I love Sayyidina Muhammad Because of that love I want you to be happy with me. Ya Rabbi grant my salah under your muhabbat and your ishq, grant my zakah under your muhabbat and your ishq, grant my khidmat and my, my actions under your muhabbat and your ishq. With ocean of muhabbat and love there is nothing to judge. With muhabbat and ishq Allah inshaAllah feel the pity for a servant who comes poor to his door, that they came with love but they fell short in their actions. Like any father when their children have a love but they're not able to accomplish, any father will pick up their child and fix them, clean them and perfect them just out of their God-given love, imagine then the creator of love. This is not a lust that they're talking, they're talking about a love for Allah's Divine the Presence. A love for the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad that opens every love, love of companions, love of Ahlul Bayt, love of awliyaullah. Because of that love we sought the company of awliya and shaykhs and teachers that would teach us about that garden, that would remind us about the garden and that would make us feel that we're always in that garden. While the rest of the world is like a burning jungle, this ishq and this love and muhabbat makes for us like we're in a garden in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad With that love and with that ishq then how is Allah going to judge? Is to dress and to perfect, so alhamdulillah that the Opening of the lights is a hijab 
and the blessings of these lives and the immensity of the blessings of faith and the perfection of Islam, the body iman, the soul, maqam al-ihsan, the Divinely Presence within the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah dress us, bless us, ourselves, our families, our children, our communities and all those who are falling short of their faith and their actions that Allah attach them to us and ourselves and by the love of Sayyidina Muhammad to reach them and intercede for them and bring, him, bring them under his intercession inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha <laughs>